And a huge thanks and shout out to Hobson GM, Chevrolet Buick GMC of Martinsville, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film their 2004 Chevrolet SSR. The early 2000s was an odd time. Retro styled vehicles highlighting heritage styling was in full swing with the VW New Beetle, Chrysler PT Cruiser, Chevrolet HHR, and the Ford Thunderbird, to name a few, were all available around in one form or another at the same time, give or take. The Chevrolet SSR, or Super Sports Roadster, was no exception. Introduced at the 2000 Detroit Auto Show as a concept, an early production SSR would be in the 2003 pace car for the Indianapolis 500 race. Only available in three model years, the SSR wasn't what one would call a success. In fact, it was actually a flop. The SSR, set on the GM368 variant of the GMT360 platform, with panels formed via deep draw stampings, and was produced at the Lansing Craft Center in Lansing, Michigan. The top on this truck is a dual stack retractable hardtop design which was designed by Carmen and built by ASC and is fully automatic in operation, residing in a purpose built compartment and covered by a full hard tonneau cover. The entire operation takes approximately 25 seconds. Our SSR is painted in smoke and asphalt or black and features the ebony leather interior. Its when new pricing is shown to the left and a full options list is in the description box below. The SSR's radical design, despite its highly unique convertible pickup roadster styling, takes obvious styling cues from the 1940s advanced design Chevrolet pickup trucks, mostly from the late 40s and the mid 50s design, albeit much more modern in aerodynamic and form and function. Obviously, a rear wheel drive vehicle, the SSR from 2003 to 2004, was powered by the 5.3 liter Vortec. 5300 LM4 overhead valve pushrod 16 valve V8 engine. This engine is of aluminum block and head construction with sequential fuel injection and a 9.5 to 1 compression ratio. It creates 300 horsepower at 5,200 RPM, 331 pound feet of torque at 4,000 RPM. It can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.7 .7 seconds with 0 to 100 miles per hour reach in 20.5 seconds. The quarter mile is trapped in 15.9 seconds at 86.4 miles per hour. Its top speed is limited to 125 miles per hour. And all SSRs were equipped with a rather large for its class 24.8 US gallon fuel tank and consumes a whopping 6.2 gallons per 100 miles driven with an estimated total driving range of 396 miles. EPA fuel economy figures are 14 miles per gallon city, 18 miles per gallon highway, with 16 miles per gallon combined. While the 2005 and 2006 models would be available with either an automatic or manual transmission, our 2004 SSR is equipped with the sole available 4-speed turbo hydromatic 4L60E automatic transmission. According to then Chevrolet manager Brent Dewar, no other manufacturer has a vehicle like the SSR. We've combined the heritage of the 1947 to 1953 advanced design pickups with the latest in product and manufacturing technology to enhance the Chevrolet brand. All right, looking around the rear, this is where the vehicle looks the most odd in the fact that it is a convertible, but a fully enclosed pickup truck as well. Again, 
the highlighting feature is really those pronounced fender flares front and rear. You've also got a large flat tonneau cover with a spoiler. Heritage themed clear lens round red tail lamp lenses that integrate brake lights, tail lamps, and turn indicators. Of course, you also have that really nice sounding dual exhaust. It is a Flowmaster exhaust. License plate frame here with your license or your reverse lamps down here. And you got your bow tie logo and your SSR badging. Along the profile, the SSR looks quite good with the hard top in the up and locked position, looking like a very sleek low profile sport truck appearance. Top down, it's very dramatic with its sleek unified look to the profile. With no top stack separating the cab from the bed, the SSR looks quite amazing in my opinion. The SSR does sit on a 116 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 191.4 inches. Steering on the SSR is hydraulically assisted vehicle speed sensitive variable rate rack and pinion with 3.05 turns lock to lock and a 38.1 foot turning radius. Wheels are staggered size ultra silver finish polished 5 spoke aluminum with the fronts measuring 19 by 8 inches and rears measuring 20 by 10 inches. Tires are Goodyear Eagle GSAs with fronts measuring 255 45 R19 and the rears coming in at P295 40 R20. Brakes are obviously high performance power assisted four wheel disc brakes with 12 inch vented rotors up front, 12.8 vented rotors in the rear, and are assisted by ABS and all speed traction control. These brakes can halt the SSR from 70 miles per hour to zero and 185 feet. This Roadster pickup features large flared fenders, a sculpted hood, and a bold stance. Suspension up front is fully independent front double A arms with upper and lower control arms with the rear being a five link live rear axle with a torsion differential. Alrighty, take a look around the front of the SSR. Its retro style is apparent in its design, harkening back to the late 40s and early 50s of the advanced design pickup trucks. Very pronounced spender flares front and rear. You've also got the uh, C5 Corvette side view mirrors. Fenders flare down seamlessly into these round projector beam headlamps with a satin silver bar running the entire width of the front end with the large Chevrolet gold tie or gold bow tie logo. And you've got the classic Chevrolet script within this emblazonment panel here. Down below you do have a billet grill, projector beam fog lamps, and your twin directionals. You do also have the SSR logo. All right, now this being a 2004, this vehicle is not actually equipped with a smart key access system. It is however equipped with keyless remote entry. Quick look at the key fob is a traditional GM key fob here. Lock, unlock, panic alarm, and your trunk release. And oddly enough, it does have a pictogram of an SSR with the top up and the uh, tonneau cover open. I like that. And you do have a couple keys here, but to get into the vehicle, just press the unlock button. Nice flat door handle here. Solid doors. Inside is actually very sports car themed with the dual cowl instrument panel. Very supportive sport bucket seats. Lots of satin aluminum trim and gloss black to match the body. Take a look at the door panels here, as I was stating. The gloss black body color here spilling over into the inside. It does match up very nicely with the satin aluminum trim here that molds into your door pole. You also have the premium Bose sound system, power mirror controls here on the door, vinyl trim, whereas everything else is a hard plastic, safety reflector, a little bit of storage in the doors. This vehicle does have aftermarket SSR emblazoned tread plates. They are polished stainless steel. Taking a quick look at the seat controls here. You have heated high and low. You also have your 
adjustable seats here. It is a six-way fore and aft adjust. This is your lumbar support, two driver memory, manual seat back control, and this control here opens up your seat back. And on the driver's side instrument panel, panel dim here, you've also got headlamp control with automatic headlamps and fog lamps. Down here in the footwell, you do have your hood release and only two pedals indicating that this is indeed an automatic vehicle. You've also got a leather and aluminum wrapped tilt, telescope, tilt steering wheel. All right, let's take a look at those seats now. The seats are actually specific to the SSR. They do not share their seat frames or anything with any other GM car. They are very nicely supportive, high back bucket seats, open head restraints here. You do also have the aluminum accents back here, seat belt guides, side impact airbags. Overall, the seats are very supportive, very comfortable. All right, we're gonna pan through the interior. We're gonna show more details here. As you can see, very tight hydraulically assisted power steering, leather wrapped steering wheel. You've also got the aluminum trim on the upper spokes here. They actually match up quite nicely with the rest of the dashboard if it's lined up right. But anyway, solid aluminum trim down here, airbag cover in the center. Over here, we do have our trip computer controls, fuel mileage controls, vehicle system status controls, and our reset button here. Over here on the right hand side, we have our seat and scan buttons here and our volume up and down. All right, over here, we do have just a typical GM multifunction stalk, cruise control, turn it on here. Set that button there to set, and then this is your accelerate here. Wiper controls. You've also got your signal controls as well. High beam controls. All right, and looking straight forward, we have a nice set of Heritage potted gauges that are re deeply recessed within their bezels. And they do have a clear lens over them that does cause quite a reflection indeed. 7,000 RPM TAC, 140 mile per hour primary speedometer. You do have a digital readout for the Prindle, and you've also got a dot matrix LED display here for your trip computer and odometer. Taking a look over on the rightmost pod where the SSR logo is, you do have a fuel gauge, coolant temperature, and oil pressure. Motor Week would approve. All right, moving across the top of the dash, more hard plastic abound, but it does have a really nice wraparound body color trim that goes the entire width and meets into the doors that's a nice touch all right moving down the center console very small heating and ventilation vents here but they are effective pretty standard gm am fm cd radio here moving down within the aluminum housing you do have your climate control vents where your control knobs are actually housed in poly or brushed aluminum Temperature control with air conditioning control, fan speed and recirculate. Over here is your panel distribution with your electric rear window defogger. All right, more stuff to look at. Here we have a nice felt lined, recessed and retractable tray. Over on the passenger side is a handy little pop-up cup holder. Hidden here is actually the ashtray with a cigar lighter. Here on the driver's side footwell here, Above the uh, battery gauge is a 12 volt power point. And on the passenger side in the footwell, right above the temperature gauge is another 12 volt power point. All right, moving across the center dash, more aluminum abounds. Very nice here. I got a really nice um, cue ball type shifter with the push button here for the transmission lever. There is no Prindle marked on here. It's all very smooth. And you've also got your power window controls, traction control, power lock, and your roof switch let's get this gear lever out of the way all right down there on the floorboard you have your performance gauges on the leftmost is your battery volts on the middle it's marked gph and i believe that's gallons per hour used i don't really know and on the far right is your transmission temperature gauge and as you can see it is reflecting in that piano black trim and over here on the driver's side footwell, you have another cup holder. All right.
front moving down the center of the car the piano black trim continues you do have a nice padded center armrest there is a button on the side that opens up and it reveals a nice amount of storage inside it is also important to note that this can actually lock corvette style waterfall with the ssr logo overall the interior of this vehicle it's actually really cool. It's it's very well designed, very heritage themed, but everything falls at hand, very ergonomic. All right, now we have an overhead automatic dimming rearview mirror with three channel home link universal garage door opener and a map light. It is powered underneath the, there's just an LED. All right, and sun visors. Sun visors are padded vinyl with illuminated vanity mirrors. And the sun visors do swing out, however, they do not slide. All right, because there is actually no uh, rear seat in this vehicle, we'll just show behind the seat backs here. Just unlocking the seat back here and moving the seat back forward. There is no storage up behind them. However, there is a couple of uh, speakers and I believe the amplifier for the Bose audio system. It is lined and carpeted back here, but there's actually no storage back here. All right, just like we did on the driver's side, we're gonna show behind the passenger seat. Real quick look at its controls. Heated seats, of course, and you also have the same, this is just two-way adjustable. It doesn't uh, adjust for up and down. Again, power lumbar support. You also got your uh, seat back control, and this unlocks the seat back itself. Looks like you have a tether anchor for child seat, another speaker for the Bose audio system, and that is your fuse access panel. All right, to gain access to the luggage area, there is only one way, I believe. I did not see a trunk release button in the glove box. It's just a key fob here, just by pressing and holding. It opens up the tonneau cover. And as you can see, it opens up pretty much like a trunk. It is hydraulically strutted, illuminated, carpeted. It does have an interesting little uh, fold down tray here. SSR embroidery, it is fully carpeted in here, just as I said. You do have these really nice looking, uh, they're plastic, but they do look like wood, reminiscent of the wood lined beds of yesterday. A warning label basically saying, Do not fill gas cans in this because it can spark an ignition. Here is an emergency release that glows in the dark. And say you want to get into the rest of it, well, here in the tailgate is a big handle, just like the driver or the door handles. All right, now we got a tailgate. How about that? Carpeted. Very nice amount of luggage space back here, indeed. Makes for a very good touring car, for sure. You can haul a ton of luggage back here. 
Now the nice thing here is a 12 volt power point. You've also got adjustable cleats in the bed rails for a um, storage net. All right, and closing it, first you have to close the tonneau cover and then you close the tailgate. All right, and that does conclude our in-depth walk around look at the 2004 Chevrolet SSR. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews and our Instagram channel at brinsoj1. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.